वक्रदुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिशम प्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर्मे देवा शर्वकायेशु सर्वदा ओं साईश्वराय विमह सत्यदेवाय धीम तर्व प्रचोदया ओं जयंती मंगल काली भद्र काली कपालिनी दुर्गा श्यामा शिवदात्री स्वाहा स्वादा नमोस्तु दे ओं शांति 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 साईराम लीन साईराम फ्रॉम मलेशिया Sai Ram Sharma, Sai Ram from New Zealand. Tonight's topic is, where's your pakora? And we thank Bhagwan for giving us this opportunity to tell a tasty little tidbit of a story. And greetings to all of our listeners, loving Sai Ram. Now, for our Western listeners, if you don't know what a pakora is, it is a tasty little appetizer, something like a fritter. I can explain it as deep fried balls of uh, pastry with stuffed with maybe potatoes, onions, or other vegetables coated in a seasoned gram flour batter, such as a besan chickpea flour, and deep fried. It is very tasty, and it has many names. Some call it bhaji, picora, bora, chop. Um, early and early variations recipes of the pakora appear in Sanskrit uh, and Tamil uh, literature and Sangam literature of the Tamils, and it is called a round cake made of pulse fried, uh, also crispy fried battered vegetable. So, if your mouth is not watering by now. I suggest that after I complete this talk, you go and make yourself a little pakora. Now, uh, in the mandir in Sai Kolwant Hall, in the later years, Mata Betty had been given a chair, and this means that she sat in a row at the back of the ladies' section. On the right, there is a bench at the back, and in front of that are some chairs. And Mata Betty had been as assigned a seat there because she had trouble sitting on the floor. And so she wasn't able to get front row and offer Swami stacks of letters the way she used to. So she assigned that job to us, uh, the girls who helped to look after her. She called us our pink, my pink girls, uh, because pink was her favorite color, and she also said pink is the color of Swami's aura. That doesn't mean we were pink, but we always had a very bright. Um, reddish pink scarf that we wore with roses on it, and it really stood out. And Swami never failed when he saw us to come over and talk to us. Mata Betty would sit at the back, and we would be placed usually at the front row. Uh, you know, about seven or eight people in front of her. So one day I had the front row. Mata Betty was behind me, uh, watching intently as Swami moved along the line. He went past me, and then he came back and stood in front of me, and he said, "Where's your pakora?" And I said, "Swami, she is over there." And because Mata Betty was quite a portly character, she was, she always had some trouble with her weight because she loved cakes and sweets and potatoes and so on. And Mata always had a handkerchief in her hand, a white handkerchief. She would wave it at Swami. Uh, and that was, of course, she's hoping for an interview so that Swami would bless the handkerchief. Uh, so, she, so he turned and looked, and sure enough, there's Ma waving away with her white handkerchief. And Swami held up his hand in blessing to Mata. Then Swami began uh, moving forward again past me. Then he turned around again very quickly. He spun on on his heel and he came back. He said, "And you are also pakora." <laughs> and I thought, "Oh my God! He means I'm a fried potato ball. I'm too fat." And and he was smiling as he said it and put up his hand in blessing. But I couldn't get this out of my head that he had called me a pakora. Because Swami did have a habit of calling some people a funny little name. For example, that army colonel he used to call Coconut, and I also heard him call a couple of staff members Dunapota, which means buffalo, water buffalo. So uh, I knew that Swami was in the habit of sometimes giving people little names, and they were affectionate names. But it also made me wonder: Does Swami 
mean that I need to lose weight because if there's one thing I love are fried Indian snacks. And of course, the, so I began to research this a little bit and I found out that as always with Swami's words, there is some deeper meaning. Yes, a pakora is a fried fritter with tasty um, center, but also it was a food that is mentioned in the Tamil literature uh, as being uh, the the uh, the food of noble ones, and it is in the Sangam, which this is a type of Tamil early Tamil literature. Sangam means association, so I was somewhat. Uh, uplifted to think, oh, well, perhaps Swami is implying that I need to work on myself, lose some weight, and then I can become a noble person. This is the way your mind starts to work when Swami speaks to you directly, because his words have great power. And he doesn't, he doesn't speak lightly. You know, every word that he speaks is like a command, and it rings in your ears for years and years afterward. You never forget when Swami speaks to you directly. Sometimes you even hear that voice in your dreams. I was, however, uh, rewarded in my study because a, the food writer, uh, Biv Sang, Sangvi, in the Hindustan Times, wrote, about pakoras and he said take pride in the pakora it is our gift to the world it is india's gift to the world the pakora <laughs> and so that gave me some consolation i did however embark upon a diet after that but i have to admit every time i go to an indian restaurant i cannot cannot resist having at least one delicious hot pakora dipped in tamarind and date chutney. Om Sri Sai Ram. Om Sri Sai Ram. Om Tasmat Karunya Bhavena Raksha Raksha Sai Shwara Hari Om Tat Sat Sri Sai Shwara Rupanamastu Om Shanti Shanti Shanti